So let's get started. Um, today's session is Go Paperless, boost team productivity with this fast to install user-friendly document solution. My name is Nicole Schmeida. I'm the marketing specialist here at DocuWare. I'll be moderating a few polls throughout the session and the Q&A at the end. The webinar will be presented by John Keenan, senior sales director here at DocuWare. So as you can see on the right today's agenda, for the first third, John will introduce the DocuWare for Smart Document Control solution and how it can solve your office's office challenges. Then he'll go into an introductory live demo so you can see it in action. And at the end, we'll open it up for Q&A. Before I pass it to John, I do have a poll question for you. So I'm going to launch that on the screen now. So just take a minute to look at the question and select a choice. So how are you handling your document management now? Um, you know, maybe you don't have a proper system in place. You kind of just go with the flow. Maybe you do have a system, but it's only, you know, using paper or you have a mix of paper and digital, but you don't have a centralized solution. Or maybe you are already using a single digital solution and you're here to check out, you know, what can Docker offer you? And if you have another kind of answer, feel free to put your own answer in the question box. So I'm just going to wait um, till we get a majority of votes in, and then I will share the results. So it looks like a um, good amount are sharing right now or selecting. OK. All right, looks like we got a good amount. I'm going to close the poll and share it. So it looks like majority of the people on the line have a, a paper and digital system, but you know, you're here to see what DocuWare can offer, but no specific software in place at the moment. So maybe you want to centralize that, streamline it, um, and enable remote access for your employees. So all right, thank you so much for uh, participating. And with that now, John, I'm going to pass it to you. Terrific. Bear with me as I try to show my screen. Just let me know. Yep, you're good. Terrific. All right. I find it very interesting. And, and by the way, welcome everybody. I appreciate it, your time today. The answer to those questions are, are really interesting because I was going to start the conversation around some of the challenges, right? And the, the, the biggest challenge when it comes to automation or going digital is the fact that our data is in multiple silos. What silos? Well, to run our business, we have a significant amount of data still in paper form, right? As, as uh, you guys just noted, a lot of our organizations are somewhere on a digital journey and they have documents in digital format, right? Other data and documents can be found in email found an email, and then, then finally, a lot of data and documents are, are found in our existing applications, right? Our line of business applications, like accounting systems or HR systems or Salesforce and so on. So what's the problem with that? Well, the problem is with all of those silos, if you need to work on a specific project or transaction, it's very, very likely that you're going to have to go to four separate locations to get the data necessary to perform your job, to drive your business, to make your company successful, right? That's really scary. And by the way, it's getting worse now that we've been forced into a distributed workforce, right? This was a big problem pre-COVID. Now it's a huge problem because everybody's distributed. Some people are working from the office. Some people are working from their basement. I'm in a home office in Rhode Island. Right? Wouldn't it be difficult if all of the data and documents associated with my job were back at the office? That's the value of going digital. Today, we're specifically going to talk about smart document control because it's a way to jumpstart or get you started into uh, a digital environment. So what we're talking about today is smart document control. And what this is, is a pre-configured solution that can jumpstart you further down your digital journey. It doesn't matter whether most of your documents are paper format or you're using a shared drive or some type of file folder tree structure. Uh, studies dictate or indicate 
that we spend 30 to 50% of our time looking for the documents and data required to drive our business. Think about that for a second. 30 to 50% of our time. This is really scary. To you owners and managers out there, that means that at best, you're getting half a day's production from your very best employees. This is not the, the path to profitability. What is, is to be completely digital. And what Smart Document Control provides is a central repository that's really easy to use. It's really easy to get documents into the system. More importantly, it's really easy to find those documents. When you're using DocuWare, your mission critical documents will literally be at your fingertips, okay? And we're not talking, excuse me, we're not talking about an archive here. We're talking about the ability to collaborate and drive process using DocuWare also with a very robust tool set. And the best part is you can access your data and documents regardless of where you are in the world, right? If you have a Wi-Fi connection, you can use a web client or can be, can be performed or used using a mobile application also. The best part is this, uh, uh, smart document control is a pre-configured solution. So that means it's purpose-built for jump-starting you into a digital world, but more importantly, because it's pre-built, all we have to do is load your specific user information and you can get value very, very quickly, okay? In fact, we can get you up and running and return on investment in just a few days. Now, during the demonstration, I'm going to spend a lot of time talking about controlling documents and more importantly, collaboration, right? So, so I want you to continue to think about, this is not an archive. What we're talking about is a tool that will help you to continue running your business. So if you can do it with paper, you can continue to do it in DocuWare in electronic format, right? So if you have action dates, we can take care of that. If you stamp your documents as part of collaboration or workflow, we can handle that. Bringing emails in and, and connecting them to the other transactional documents, piece of cake. List views, I'll spend some time on list views. These are going to be your favorites, right? It's the searches that you go back to over and over and over again. Probably most important, however, are action dates, right? Every document has some type of action associated with it, and there's usually a deadline. And by assigning action dates, you can assure that you're never going to miss a deadline ever again. When we talk about security, I, in this type of meeting or, or introduction to DocuWare, I think the most effective way to discuss DocuWare secure, uh, security is to say that we play in every industry, including medicine, and we meet or exceed the security certification requirements by industry, including HIPAA. Now, most people on this call would agree that HIPAA, right, that that's the security around medical documents, probably the gold standard uh, in, the, uh, in the US. In Europe, it would be GDPR, and, and the good news is DocuWare is configurable to meet those needs regardless of what your security requirements are. We'll be happy if, if you ask after this, if you have concerns around security, we will gladly uh, provide you as much information as you need about the security of your documents and data. All right, so I'm going to pass it back to Nicole for a question check-in. Yes, I'm looking. There are actually um, no questions as of yet, so it looks like we're good to move to the demo. Okay, let's do that. All right, so when I show DocuWare, I'm going to show it in the same order that I suggested. Number one, we'll start with the user interface. Why is this important? Well, if the user interface isn't simple and intuitive, even for non-technical users, you'll never get the adoption that you need. So you'll never see return on investment. So I always start there, right? Then I'll demonstrate how easy it is to get documents into DocuWare. More importantly, how they're literally at your fingertips once they're in DocuWare. You can search using your list, uh, list area, your favorites area. You can actually search from other line of business applications. And then once we have our paper under control, it's all about control, control and collaboration. So you can control who sees the documents within your world and who has to work or has action items associated with those documents. 
let's start with the user interface. What you're looking at on the right hand side is the document viewer. This is where we'll work with our documents. On the left hand side, we set up our trays or baskets. When you think of a tray or a basket, think of a staging area, right? It's, a, it's an inbox waiting to store a document into an electronic file cabinet. Once it's in the file cabinet, we can find it by going to our search tab or our list tab. Again, when you think of lists, think of favorites. So what might some of my favorites be? Well, I might need to see the documents that were shared with me, that were shared by me, that were assigned to me, that have due dates in short order, okay? These are configurable. So all of your mission critical documents using the list area or favorites area will literally be at your fingertips. Tasks is an area for workflow, right? Today we're talking about collaboration, which is the sweet spot for smart document control. But in another conversation, we can talk about automatically routing documents through pre-configured workflows. We're not gonna have that conversation today, right? For today, the viewer is on the right, the, the uh, trays are on the left, and a few simple tabs up top. All right, so I'm gonna switch sim systems. I wanna show you the flexibility of getting documents into DocuWare. Right. During that poll, it, we found out that a lot of organizations are still mostly paper. Some of them are electronic. Some of them don't know. Right. Doesn't matter where you are in your digital journey. It's very easy to get documents into document. Right. One of the ways if you're if you're struggling with paper, you can walk any paper over to a desktop scanner or multifunction device and simply scan that paper into document. The way this essentially works is DocuWare is set up to monitor a folder. And as soon as the paper is converted to PDF, right, what happens is DocuWare simply grabs that, that now digital document and brings it into the system. So imagine I have this document here. I simply walk it over to my scanner. I press the button. And as soon as that conversion is done, you'll see that the document will come right into my tray here. By the way, the same applies. Here it comes. The same applies to email. We can set up DocuWare to monitor email folders also. So let's say you receive an email attachment, by, uh, uh, a, a document by email attachment, we'll monitor that folder also. And as soon as that email is grabbed, DocuWare will grab it and bring it in, okay? What about the organizations out there that are using a shared drive? Well, we can import documents from literally any file folder tree structure, right? So if I choose import, I point at the document or documents that I want to bring in and I choose to open it, okay? And the documents come in very, very easily. What am I demonstrating, right? Really simple to get documents into DocuWare. So check the box, right? Really simple user interface, very easy to get documents into DocuWare. Once they're in DocuWare though, how do we find them? We find them by going to our search tab. Let me, uh, let's do this. Let's go back here, I'll make this a little bit larger and we'll review the search area. So if I go to search, you'll notice when we store a document into DocuWare, we apply search terms or indexes to these documents. This is what puts the document literally at your fingertips, right? So I can do things like a company name search, a document number search, a document type search, a date range uh, search, and these search criteria or indexes are configured based on your needs. In this particular example, I'm in an accounting world, so here are some search terms that make sense for an accounting environment. In human resources, we might be searching on things like last name, first name, employee number. All of that is configurable to put your documents at your fingertips. So let's go through a search, right? I can start with the company name, right? But I don't want to see every document associated with the company name. I want to see just the letters that have come in. And by searching that way, I can literally drill down and find the document that I'm looking for, okay? Now, when I show this search terminology, a lot of people make the leap and say, hey, John, that reminds me of doing a Google search. And they're spot on. And that's the beauty of DocuWare because everybody intuitively already knows how to find their documents inside DocuWare, right? Because we Google all day, every day. 
If I Google pizza places, I get millions of hits. Pizza places, Boston, 10,000. Pizza places, Boston on Commonwealth Avenue, I get two. Isn't that what I just did here? I started with a company name and I simply added a search term to drill down and find exactly what I was looking for. Okay. In addition to this, however, you can search on phrases within the documents themselves because DocuWare is reading every document that's stored in a file cabinet. So you'll notice I have the ability to do a full text search also, right? So again, I'm looking in an accounting world. Let's say I want to search on every document with the word amount on it, but I'm going to stop myself because I don't want to see every document because they all have the word amount on it. So why don't we drill down and say, I just want to see the lease contracts with the word amount on them. And guess what? It takes me directly to the document that I'm looking for, okay? And it highlights the word that I was searching for. Here's the word amount. Wow. So your documents are literally at your fingertips. Let's talk about favorites for a second. Go to a different section, right? When you think of lists, think of favorites. So in the case of smart document control, it's all about collaboration, right? So it's, it's the documents that have been shared with me. It's the documents that have been assigned to me for some type of action. It's my personal documents. It's if I'm working with contracts, it might be the documents that require action in 30 days, in 60 days, in 90 days, et cetera. These favorites are what make collaboration possible, okay? All right, so let's take a step further. Let's talk about how we can now control the documents that are going into DocuWare. I'm going to start with this letter, okay? And let's say when I store this letter, I want all of the individuals in my organization to be able to see this letter, okay? And to do that, I can store it, but I'm going to choose the store area for everyone. And when I do that, DocuWare will fill in these indexes for me, so all I have to do is simply hit the store button. Okay. Now that document is now searchable. So I can go to my search term and I can search for that document. And here's the letter that a second ago was in my tray or basket. I don't know if you noticed that something popped up into my favorites at the same time. Let's see what it was. Ah, an action is required within 30 days because when I stored this, I put an action date on it. More importantly, I store this for everybody to be able to see it. So let's log in as another user. I'm now logged in as Jane Doe. Guess what? Jane Doe can see that document. Here it is. Okay. I also made it accessible to Joe Demo, right? And if I execute the search, you'll see that the document is at my disposal, right? So now we can start seeing the ability to do what we used to do with paper in an electronic format. Let's take the conversation a step further. I'm now logged back in as myself, John Keenan. I'm going to go back to the tray, and this time I'm going to store a document. This happens to be a packing slip. I'm gonna store it this time just for me. What happens when I store it just for me? By the way, generally DocuWare will do the indexing for you, but if you have to do it yourself, it's really easy to do, right? We can provide select lists for you, right? So it's a packing slip, right? It's a vendor packing slip. If I wanna fill in the document number, I don't have to type. I can simply highlight it on the document itself and so on. Contact name, uh, uh, let's see, company name is Bush Gardens. Contact name is Boris and so on. In this particular case, the document date, I'm going to call today, and the action date, let's say I want to make the action date next Monday. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm storing the document, putting it at my fingertips. I'm applying an action date to it so it'll show up in my favorites area. And by the way, I'm storing it just for me. So nobody else is going to be able to see this document. Let's store it. Okay, let's go find it. I can go to my search tab and you'll see that the packing slip is already here. But in addition to that, you'll notice that I now have an action for that packing slip also because I put an action date on it. 
More importantly, I've controlled who actually sees this document because I stored it just for me. If I log in as Jane Demo, which I'm doing, you'll notice if I execute the search, it's not there. I don't have rights to see it, right? If I log in as Joe Demo, same thing. If I execute the search, I can't see it because I haven't been given access to it, right? So we're controlling the flow of information around DocuWare, right? Let's take the conversation even further. Let's log back in as myself. And let's assume the packing slip, I now want to, I now want to, excuse me, share this or assign a, a task for one of my team. I can do that with the packing slip. You'll notice I have stamps over here and I'm going to use an assignment stamp. And in this, please, I'll call it, the task is going to be please edit, okay? And I want this task done by next Monday. So because I want them to edit it, I'm going to give that person editing rights. I'll assign this to Jane Demo, okay? I want this to be done exclusively by Jane, and I want a notification to be sent to Jane that she has a task to perform. Now, all I have to do is set that stamp. So once I set the stamp, two things are occurring. Number one, the packing slip, which a second ago, well, three things, the packing slip, which a second ago was only available to me is now available to Jane Doe. In addition to that, it's in my favorites area. It's been listed as something that's been assigned by me, right? And then finally, Jane Doe receives an email uh, notification that she has a task to perform, and here's what that email notification looks like. So if we open it up, it says, Dear Jane Doe, this email is to inform you that John Keenan has requested that you take action on this document. So what does Jane have to do? Well, she has to edit the document, just like the assignment required. So Jane can access the document, right? How she can access the document, a number of different ways. She can go to her favorites, and here are the documents that have been assigned to her, okay? And that happens to be a packing slip. And once she opens up the packing slip, she can do the editing because now she has the rights to do so. Now, I said earlier, if you can do it with paper, you can do it in DocuWare. What does that mean? Well, Jane might want to write text on this document, and she can do that. She might want to highlight information on the document. She can do that. She might want to highlight full paragraphs. She can do that. What about pointing out something important on a document? Of course. Well, sometimes documents have sensitive information on it. We might want to redact those documents, uh, that information for security purposes. So I'm literally marking up a document electronically, just like I used to do with a pen. Okay. And when I'm done with this, I can let John know that I'm done by hitting my assignment completes uh, stamp. And I'll just say, all done and set. Okay. Once I set this, John now knows that it's been set because it's been stamped as such. So if I log back in, you'll notice that when I open the packing slip, all of the changes and edits have been on it. Okay, Jane, Jane Doe stamp, okay, and we're ready to rock and roll on the next task. Okay, so I've covered a lot of ground here. My, my hope for you that your takeaway are several. Number one, very simple, intuitive user interface. Really easy to get documents into DocuWare, right? More importantly, they're at your fingertips. You're not running into separate silos to find them. And we're not talking about a static archive. We're talking about the ability to collaborate and drive process with your digital documents using the DocuWare Smart Document Control. So with that, I'm going to go back to my hopefully i'll be able to move it nicole you can see this now yep okay all right so what are the features really really benefits a very very uh, user-friendly user interface simple to get documents in 
simple to use documents, find documents, sim simple to collaborate around documents. You can access this system from anywhere in the world using a web client or a mobile application. Today, I talked about smart document control, right? It's basically general document management, but we play in every industry, okay? And we play in every, more importantly, every department. So it doesn't matter if your needs are around accounting documents, human resource documents, sales documents, all of the, this is usable in the DocuWare world. You can use either smart document control or another one of our pre-configured solutions. Smart doc control is just one of our pre-configured solutions. We started with invoice processing, right? Why? Because we recognized after 32 years that our number one workflows we're in accounting, particularly invoice processing. We also realized that 80%, there was 80% overlap, so we built out a best in, uh, practices pre-configured solution that can get you up and running and getting value and return in, uh, on investment in just days. Same goes for human resources. Big one right now that we're in a distributed workforce is electronic signatures, and probably the hottest one and it seems to be a moving target, is vaccination mandates, right? How do we keep track of the people in our organization and their vaccination status is based on the different regulatory compliances in, in our jurisdiction? We remember our, our favorites or our lists? Wouldn't it be nice to have all of that data in our list area? And you can do that using the DocuWare pre-configured solution for vaccination and testing management. All right, so I'm gonna pass it back to you, Nicole. Yep, I'll take it back. And I do have a, uh, another poll for you all, so let me share that now. So you should see it on your screen. So you saw an introductory demo. Which features are you most interested and most excited for using, learning more about, um, check, you can check as many as you'd like. So, you know, there's the fast implementation, no more back and forth, you know, months, um, taking months to implement it. Um, let's not bog down your IT team anymore. There's the quick secure document storage. So, you know, you're not having to pay for any offsite physical um, storage, action dates and stamps. You know, let's streamline like how many email reminders you're manually sending out. Um, anywhere, anytime document access. So depending on how your company works, maybe you have people working from home, at the office, a mix of, you know, a mix of all of the above. Or if you have your own, um, you know, your other comment, feel free to type it in the question box. So just wait to get a few more votes in and I'll share the results so we can see um, what everyone is, is most interested in. All right, looks like we got a good amount. I'm going to close it and share the results so you can see. So it looks like pretty much, you know, everyone seems to be very excited for kind of all of this, the features that they saw, um, especially with the fact that the solution can be implemented quick. Um, so you don't, you minimize any, you know, downtime, seamlessly, you know, integrates into your current business application system. So. That's great, everyone seems to be um, excited to see more. So I just have a few more slides um, before we get to Q&A. And can everyone, John, can you see uh, my screen or has the icons? Just yeah, you bet. Check. Okay, perfect. Um, so, you know, we're very proud of our um, Docuware user reviews on various sites like G2 Crowd, Captera, Garner Pure Insights, um, along with the security certifications that John mentioned earlier. So just wanted to highlight those. Um, I'll include a link in the follow-up email where you can read about real Docuware user stories and their experiences, you know, hear from the, the real people that are using the system day in and day out. Um, in your handout section, there is a recent Docuware case study. Um, so I just wanted to highlight one of the uh, quotes from it. So this is an automotive group, um, and they were able to, you know, launch a Docker pre-configured solution for their company. And by doing that, they were able to, you know, get rid of relying on paper storage and 
you know, now they're using automated processes. And the key here is that they're simplifying the daily work of their employees across all of their locations. So I thought that was a really great highlight. Simplifying, um, you know, no matter where you are uh, working for your company. So what's your next move now that you've, you know, spent some time with us here on this Friday um, morning or afternoon? Um, we hope you take the next step, continue the conversation with us so you can, you know, enjoy digital storage and workflows, protect your documents, save time and money, and just all around increase productivity. We hope you don't stay in the same place next year where you're just kind of trudging along with the same thing that you, you do all the time just because you're used to it. Um, you might be wasting resources um, and maybe risking compliance and just, you know, overall maybe lag behind your competition. So definitely, um, you know, take the next step. There's various ways to continue the conversation. So if you're already working with your authorized DACA partner, you, you may have received an invitation from them. Definitely reach out uh, in webinar invitation from them. Definitely reach out to them um, to get started. To request a personalized demo, go to docuer.com slash demo. Or you can email us anytime at contact.us at docker.com with any um, questions or comments um, you might have. So let's get into the questions here. Um, looks like a few have come in. Let's see. So my, someone asked, so my business has boxes and boxes of paperwork that we want to get scanned in. How thorough does each document or folders of these documents need to be labeled? I guess how we go about kind of doing like batch scanning and storage. Yeah. Um, so so we are not a scanning bureau, but we can introduce you to the scanning bureaus that, that we do work with. Uh, and the answer really depends on, on use case. In many instances, when we index a document for easy retrieval, we will extract the data directly from that document. So we use machine learning that can learn your documents. Um, we can also set up templates against them, or if it's batch scanning and we want to keep it to like one index or, or one search term and just batch scan them in, we can do it. Um, but it would really depend on your use case, your individual situation, uh, well worth the conversation. Great, yes. Um, so next question is, you list version control as storing updated versions of a document. How about revisions of a document as a second layer of ver versioning? For instance, a user manual needing revision after being published. Yeah, you bet. You bet. At the end of the day, every touch on that document will be, will be put into the, uh, into the audit trail, and you can go back as far. The, the real beauty and one of the separators between DocuWare and that folder structure, that file folder tree structure is A, that your stuff is at your fingertips, but more importantly, when you find a document, you know it's the most recent version of that document. And if you have the, the administrative rights and permissions, you can actually go back and, and look at the audit trail. Who touched it, right? When they touched it, who changed it, did they have edit rights and so on. Got it. Next question is, is there an electronic signature approval option? Yeah, we actually have a pre-configured solution for electronic signatures. So it's a, it's a real hot topic right now. We are not a, a legal signature platform, but we do integrate to them. So the two biggies are, are DocuSign and Validated ID. Uh, so we have a pre-built integration to those. As long as you have a relationship with either one of those companies, right? we can include that as part of your collaboration tools. You know, at the end of the day, legal signatures, particularly in an, in, uh, an expanded and distributed workforce, are a mission critical feature right now, uh, and it's something we added some time ago. Got it. Um, let's see, more questions. Um, when we are transferring documents over from our computer to Docuer, Will the system automatically label the document based on the information in the document? Either in the doc, the answer is yes, either in the document or based on some of the information in the document, we can do a data query into an outside database, right? So there's a number of ways. The one thing I, I didn't have time to spend a lot of time on it is the fact that when we talk about doing that Google search, people recognize that Yes, I'll be able to very quickly find my document, 
But the other thing that people will often think is who's going to fill in all the data? So this is a very intuitive question. We have multiple techniques that DocuWare will extract the data for you. Right. Okay. Next question: If you happen, um, not, if you happen to know this offhand, um, are there district court clients using DocuWare? We play in every industry, including the legal community. So I, off the top of my head, I can't give you a reference, uh, but but chances are uh, the answer is absolutely. Uh, more importantly. <clears throat> If we ever get to that phase, reference selling is something that we absolutely will do, right? We will set you up with people in your industry with your use case to have conversations with. We have almost 20,000 global customers, so it's very easy to set up those engagements. Perfect. In the follow-up email as well, I'll send a link to our um, case study library. Um, next question, what sort of integrations are possible? Is there an API to work with our own in-house CRM? You bet robust APIs, uh, but what we find is, is there's different levels of integration. Again, we didn't have time today to spend a lot of time on, on integration, but if you just look at it from the context, DocuWare is reading the documents that are stored. So if, if part of your process requires the extraction of information to be sent to that CRM, as part of a workflow, we can extract any information required in the CRM and, and in very simplistic terms, we can put it in a flat file that then can be uploaded, right? That's how a lot of organizations do it. You can also do API integrations. And then when it comes to that CRM or other line of business applications, we can actually set it up so you can search back into DocuWare for the transactional documents that you're looking for from any application. It could be a CRM, it might be an accounting system, it might be an HR system. Imagine you're looking at a transaction on the screen in a tool that you've been using and are comfortable with, and all of a sudden we provide you with a DocuWare search button that when you hit the button, DocuWare reaches uh, in from your application into the DocuWare repository and just gets you the stuff that you need. Great. Um, next question is, uh, we have a couple more questions. I know we're like winding down to the time now. Um, someone asked, what are the costs involved? Well, the, the beauty of DocuWare is to determine the costs. All we need is number of users and, and an estimate on what the storage is. DocuWare is av available as software as a service. The benefit of that is you get the power of the entire platform at just a very, very low monthly fee. So if we can find out how many users and approximately how many uh, how, how many documents, we will gladly provide you with a, with a, a scope. Yes, definitely. You can um, reach out to your Docker, Docker partner or email us and we'll get you started. Um, looks like there's one more question. Um, we're about to outsource invoice processing to an outside firm. How can we use this software with an outside agency? Oh, good question. I, I mean, at the end, end of the day, if you're outsourcing it to an agency, a lot of the benefits of DocuWare are going to be, you're going to be paying somebody else to do, right? So, so our number one workflow is accounts payable because the workflow engine is completely configurable. So when it comes to accounts payable, there are a number of different uh, directions that, that an, uh, an invoice might go through, right? It might need somebody to uh, approve it. It might have to go through a matching process. Uh, it might be a throughput invoice, like a, a business equipment, WB Mason, that as long as the amount's low enough, we don't do anything with it. All of that is configurable using the DocuWare workflow engine. In fact, you can, you can run your entire business, and we do run our entire business on the software that I just demonstrated for you. So if you're thinking about outsourcing, look at it this way, right? What we think makes more sense is, is consolidating for one robust platform that you can apply to multiple use cases. Let me give you an example. With the explosion of the cloud, there's plenty of, of, of one-off uh, use cases that are available. I'll give one example is expense tracking, right? And there's a company by the name of Concur. They're great as ex at expense tracking. But you know what we're talking about? We're talking about passing expense reports through an approval process. 
right? The question was relating passing uh, invoices through an approval process. The DocuWare workflow engine is configurable around any of these use cases, which makes it really easy to scale from one department to another. And if you decide to scale, you already own everything. So all we need to do is determine what does the, the workflow have to look like and how many additional users do you need? Right, that's so you can start in one area and then expand as you, as needed. That's how most of our customers do it. We identify the biggest pain point, right? And we typically scale from there. Right. So it really is a true like 365, you know, degree solution all in one. Absolutely. Um, all right. Yeah, looks like that's all the questions that have come in. Um, thank you all for your time today. Thank you for participating in the polls and asking questions. It's great to see, um, you know, your interest in DocuWare. We hope you continue the conversation. Feel free to uh, take the next step. Um, John, any final comments? No, I, if you have additional questions or you wanted to see a more custom demo to your existing uh, use cases or pain points, reach out to your, your local uh, ADP or authorized DocuWare partner uh, and they can take you through the entire process. Great, all right, everyone, thank you so much. Um, Hope you all have a great weekend. Our next webinar will be March 24th, and you will receive an invitation for that. If you've received one for this or you're on the line, you'll definitely receive the invitation for next month. All right, everyone, take care.